What's going on guys? King here bringing the second episode of how to use troops in Boom Beach. Today we're going to do how to use heavies and zookas, aka the hookah strategy as Nick at Night at Teach Boom Beach named it. And this is going to be basically just a strategy and tips log. So we're going to start out here. Just going to build a couple uh, statues here real quick out of the sculptor. And then we're going to get moving on. Get my troops ready. Collect everything. Already done that. Let's get the rest of these guys from the boats. 67,000 is what I'm basically getting right now in gold every time I log in. It's pretty solid. Other than that though, we are going to just grab this first base here. Let's just find a good one with a decent amount of loot and a decent strength so I can show you. I'll start out on some easy bases and then I'll move up into the harder bases and maybe do some NPC bases later on. And we'll get there in a second. Let's collect these diamonds. Let's get it. Ah, oh, this one doesn't have enough money either. Ah, oh, I hate that. The only good thing about this game is that if someone doesn't have money, you can always research for a new player if they're too hard or they're too broke. You can always search every 24 hours for a new player, so that's always really helpful. Uh, this guy doesn't have enough money either. Wow. Everyone is broke this weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend. I guess they went out and partied too much. Too much barbecuing. Anyway, let's get this one. This is a decent amount. We're going to take it out. We're going to go after the cannons mostly because with Heavy Zooka, you want to get rid of the strong things first. So if there are boom cannons, you want to get rid of that. And then you want to get rid of cannons, then sniper towers, then worry about area. Now, of course, if there's a bunch of really high level things together, you're not going to want to use barrage. For example, if you have only like seven things on the map instead of like 15 defenses, if there's only like seven defenses, you're going to want to use shock bombs instead of barrages. But when there's only when there's a lot of defenses that are low level or medium level, you're going to want to use barrages to get rid of them and then heals when necessary. If you have like your Zooka's getting hit by a machine gun or something, then throw a heal on them. Other than that though, you're just going to want to just flare them into the middle here. You want to lead them toward that center. I'm going to throw a heal on them right there just because they're all bunched up and I know that they can easily die if they are bunched up like that. If there's a, like a machine gun concentrate on them or let's say a, a mortar or anything like that does area damage can really be deadly to Zooka's. So you gotta be careful. We took this one down pretty easily. Don't even think I lost any troops. Did get quite a few crystals here, as you're gonna see in a second. <clears throat> Two victory points, 74,000 gold. That's a pretty solid win. Several crystals, and let's get moving on. Pretty solid raid, though. Definitely not hard. I only lost two Zookas, so you can tell it's definitely a weak base. Let's find a little more difficult to one. Let's go. This is level 27. Not gonna be much of a challenge for me, and not enough loot. So. Let's research again on that one. See if we can find another person. Not once again. <laughs> find a new opponent. And let's try this 29 I just looked up. And uh, not really a lot of loot. Wow, this is getting rough, guys. 90,000. You know what? That looks decent. It's not a lot, guys, but it's definitely worth it since I do have a 40% loot bonus. So it will be like 130,000, which is not terrible. It's worth my time. And let's go ahead and attack this. Take out that boom cannon first because that's going to take your heavies out in one hit. The cannons will take them out in like two to three, so you want to get them out next. And then sniper towers take them out in like four to five, depending on their strength. So you want to take them out in that exact order, guys. Now, as you can see, I basically got rid of everything on the way to that town hall, or that HQ, excuse me. So I'm going to drop these heavies down, and I'm going to spread them out a little bit so they do take this line of mines out. And I waited a couple seconds, and then I dropped all my Zookas behind them. As you can see, there definitely is a little bit of timing between them so that they don't get taken out by the mines. Now, I'm going to continue to move them forward here, and they are starting to get away far away from that HQ. I don't like that at all. Let's flare them back over. Let's get them all bunched up again right in front of that HQ and take it out. There's no point in taking the whole base on when all you need to do is take the HQ out to win. So it doesn't really, you don't get rewarded really for taking out more of the base. Is it easier to kill the HQ that way? Yes. On higher level HQs with a ton of health, taking out half a base, three quarters of the base really helps, but... When it's a lower level base like this, it's really just too easy just to go straight for it. That's why the warrior rush is so useful, and I'll be showing you that in later rounds. I'll both, I'll probably do a double episode where, as you can actually, this, first of all, I got a master crystal here for a masterpiece, so that's really awesome. Can't remember the name of it right now, I'm having a complete mind, mind blank here. It's not a big deal though, they kept changing the name of it every five seconds in this game when they did updates, so I'm not even going to try and learn it until they have basically solidified everything, but really simple. You want to just take out every defense that is actually strong. And this is an easy force. It's really strong. The Zookas are overpowered. They have no health, though, so you want to have something in front of them. This is comparable to in Clash if you're using a giant wizard strategy. So that's pretty much the basis of it. 
you want to have some strong unit behind that shoots long distance and then you want a heavy bulky unit that barely does any damage up front and of course you don't want to lose those heavy damage units because if they do get taken out let's say if you lose all your heavies those zookas will go down in seconds so you definitely want to be careful with them keep them alive heal them you know do anything you got to do to keep them up but they basically just take all the hits for you it's real nice and I've basically cleared like 30% of this base with just my ammo on this. This is crazy. And this sniper tower is like a level 2 or something. It's ridiculously low. So I'm not even going to worry about it. It's probably like level 4 or 5. But they all look the same basically. So it's really hard to tell until you get to like level 6 or 7 I think it is when they actually start to change. But you can see here these Zookas are actually starting to get hit by the machine gun. So I flare them away. And then they all bunch up a lot. And I'll get a little worried of like a mortar strike or anything like that. So I heal them just in case. And not to worry, I didn't have to worry too much, but I, I just get over precautious sometimes because I know you could make one little mistake and it just turns out to be like, oh, that cost me 20,000 gold when I could have just dropped one flashbang or, you know, anything really. It could have been anything at all. A shock bomb, you know, some smoke it could have saved him, anything. And this is basically over once again. I'm just going to throw down some smoke and basically use up the rest of that ammo. Nothing else for it, but we got some ice crystals here, so that's pretty solid. Two more victory points, 138,000 more, 65,000 gold, 47,000 stone, quite a bit, and 14,000 iron. Definitely a lot of that. There's a lot of iron in, um, in stone there, so that's good. Definitely always need that for building. Let's uh, let's try and get another one or two in here. Let's go for, you know, maybe we'll go for a computer base. So let's go for that. Let's see if we can find one. First of all, what do we, we should upgrade something soon. Well, I think I'm going to upgrade something this round for you guys. I'm just going to build those troops instantly. I was going to call it here, but you know what? Let's do a few more. You already know the strategy by now. So let's try and show it on a higher level base. Now this base looks formidable. High level, high level everything. You go, see level three rocket, uh, sorry, I can't speak. Level three rocket launchers and there's three of them. So let's attack it and you're going to see some strategy here, guys. Let's use two barrages, split them in the middle there, basically. And see if we can take them both out. Let's see here. We're going to get quite a bit of damage done to all three of them. And maybe we get lucky. We'll put one in that center one. And it'll get all three of them out of there. Okay, we got two of them and three. There you go. So it took three barrages. I basically put two and then a split up on the sides. And then one in the middle. And it took them all out. And then I did a double missile. And it took out those two sniper towers. Now let's drop them all here. And we are going to shock these guys. Boom. All five of those things cannot attack now. So... They're going to take out the first two snipers and start working on that flamethrower without even having an issue. That flamethrower just barely gets to attack, and I'm going to heal the guys instantly just because I know there's a machine gun and mortar up ahead. Don't want them to lose any of their guys at all. Their strength is really important, and they do cost a lot of money and time to build, so just going to be very over-precautious. As you can see, though, taking this base out, not a problem at all. It is a pretty decently leveled base. Now... This just shows the strength of this force, and obviously I was attacking low-level player bases because I have those on my map, but you can see against this, this is a high-level base, and I'll do some higher, even higher-level bases later on. I'll probably do uh, some strategy guides for high-level players, maybe in a couple weeks once I get my trophy level up, but right now I just want to show you some basics for beginners and medium-level players, and that's basically what I am as a high-middle-level player. I'm nowhere near the top of this game, guys, but I, I have been playing it since it was beginning of the beta, like a week or two after it started. Uh, a week, I think I started a week after Nick at night did. Me and him started, he got me into it. This guy, he gets me into every game. He's like, oh, you gotta try this, and then I get addicted. I blame him. We're gonna take out these two boom cannons, though. This is a super high level base, guys. Definitely deadly. You wanna destroy this. I'm gonna hit the middle with that barrage and hope it takes out some other stuff. It just takes out that, oh man. I was hoping to get one of those boom cannons, but we're gonna use missiles. I do not have enough ammo to do anything else, so we are going to just drop the guys on the far right and hope they basically bull rush their way up and get some more ammo for me. Now, I'm a little worried that they're splitting off like that and going half toward the actual guns and the other half toward the uh, building, so I'm just going to smoke them, and I made a mistake. My smoke was badly placed, so I had to drop a second one so that my Zookas didn't get taken out by that sniper, but as you can see, I did lose several Zookas because I was not paying attention. But not a big deal. We're going to wipe through this base. Let's see how this goes. Pretty confident in those guys. The heavy Zuka combination. When you do, depending on the number of boats, I like to keep it pretty even. Um, if you have high level heavies or, you know, higher level heavies than your Zookas, you could probably afford to do one extra boat of Zookas. I have three and three right now. So that's a really good force for me. I don't know about you guys. Write in the comments below what you like to use. I know some people like to go too heavy for Zuka. I find it just unbalanced a little bit. But they are strong. It depends on your strategies. My strategy is pretty much to take about half the defenses down and then bull rush the HQ. And I try to concentrate on half a base, basically. And I got 
a good amount here, I think. I think I got a good amount of actual crystals. 54,000 gold, not a lot there. Actually, you know what? There's only two crystals, but not bad. I'll take them. I thought I got more. Apparently not. <laughs> but let's go ahead and look at all this stuff I can upgrade. God, it's so much to upgrade. I don't know what to do. You know what? Let's gem these troops done. And look at this boat. This boat needs to be upgraded. It's asking me to do it. Let's, uh, let's upgrade it, guys. Should we do it? I think so. All right. It's upgrading. So we're going to do one last battle. One last hurrah. Let's uh, let's clear a cloud too. Why not, right? Let's do that, and we'll attack that base. Uh, let's see here. All right, ready to do it, and let's attack. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> I was really hoping to clear the clouds to take that guy out, but he is online somehow, even though he's in the clouds. So apparently, I can't attack him. Let's find some other random dude to destroy. All right, seventy-one thousand. You know what? Not a lot of loot, but we're gonna do it anyway. Let's just barrage this for fun. Badly placed barrage here, as you can see. Only took out like two of the mines. But if I flare the guys directly in the middle of it and in front of it, it should make all the troops go in a perfect line through there. Might catch one of the mines, but I think I should be able to clear straight through. Not a big issue. And then let's get rid of that boom mine up there. And uh, I don't know if you guys, were, if any of you have been playing since like the beginning of the beta when they, they called them tank mines. But yeah, that was always funny. Like now they call them boom mines, but originally they were called tank mines. And I don't know why they changed it, but I guess it's just a little more boom beachy, which is cool. And you can see my troops are just working their way. And this is a, this is not a super high level base or anything, but definitely destroying this guy. He's going to be disappointed when he comes online and sees this because I didn't just warrior rush. I know when I see people warrior rush, I'm like, yeah, whatever. It's easy to do, like not impressive. But when I see someone beat me with like one of the main strategies, like one is tank and healers. It's really cool. Another, but that's high level play. Another one is like rifle, um, healer and Zuka, which is interesting. Actually, I'll show you the guys that later. But you're going to see some more of these rounds where I just do single player, like single troop, basically. Like, I'm going to do all Zookas next, I think, or all Heavies. I'll do those both this week, guys. So stay tuned for that. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope it helps out. If it does, slap the like button and tell me what you think, guys. See you soon. Bye.